Hi Aries, this is your monthly reading for the month of March 2019. Okay, let's uh, jump right in. Okay, so the Aries that I'm reading for, uh, this collective, um, we have a project, it looks like, that you are avoiding this month. And I also have some stuff about love. So let's uh, listen on and see whether you, my dear, are part of this collective of Aries that this message is coming through for. All right. So first of all, what I'm seeing for you, Aries, is that there is a project that you've been working on, some kind of commitment or obligation that you you have. I'm seeing that it's work-related, but it doesn't have to be work-related. It could be related to something in your community, some kind of organization, um, just whatever. Yeah, the angels are saying that's it. So that's right. Yay. So, um, if this sounds like you, then I have a message for you. So what I'm picking up is that you have been procrastinating on that. <laughs> and, and you know what? This is ringing true because this is my life, story of my life right now. So let me show you the card. Let's take a look at this person here. Imagine that this person has to continue building this, uh, this structure, this building or whatnot. But instead of actually focus on the building part, um, he's like, doing other things. There's a pile of, of brick or concrete there. There's another pile back there. Um, there's some scrolls, right? But what he really needs to be doing, he's clearly avoiding. And actually, it looks like right here, to me, like he's reaching for a glass of wine. So I see what that tells me is that a lot of you are avoiding some project, some obligation that you should be working on. And I feel that you have already been assigned this, so it's already in February that you've have you've had to work on this, but you're kind of beating around the bush. Um, this plan here, where where information should be written, is not written, which tells me that you're just not working on it. Um, I also see in here that you, some of you may be drinking, you know, maybe passing the time with some wine, watching Netflix, that came through, uh, watching Netflix, doing things like that when you should be working on this project, and you're procrastinating. And on the one hand, I kind of get you because it looks to me like here, like you actually have time to do this project, like it's almost like the deadline isn't due until the end of March, and or and, and there's little oversight, like if there's a deadline for you, but no one's really looking over your shoulder you just have to submit something by a certain time and it's almost like you are just like yeah i'll take my time on it i'll do this i'll do that and yeah that's what i'm getting but what i'm also picking up is that like in the background i don't know if you can see it in fact i saw it for the first time in my life uh today as i'm reading this card um but there's a person back there so it's almost like there's someone who is kind of waiting for that information, whether it's your superior or I'm also feeling for some of you a partnership, like maybe you and this partner are the ones working on this project, right? And you're doing your part and they're doing their part. And it's like, even though they may not be emailing you about it or asking you about it, there's this expectation that you're working on it. And they're also kind of waiting for you. So I'm feeling like they're kind of waiting to... to um get information from you and they're not coming to you about it but they're still kind of waiting and looking they might be checking their email so i'm um, just be mindful of that that even though time's kind of passing slowly for you and you're kind of doing your thing and relaxing in the meantime that you know and, and relatively unsupervised there is a partner that is this could be above you or just like more of a part like a casual above you or a partner at your same level who is working on this project with you and they're kind of keeping an eye out to see what you've accomplished. Um, what I'm also picking up here in this card is that uh, it seems like this is part of an ongoing um, project that you've had. And right here I see is like the most recent of this project and you've kind of put some kind of work into it or some time has passed where you've been active about it, whether you've been just emailing about it or you haven't actually been doing work and it's just that there's some time that's been passed. What I'm getting from this card is they're saying just, just you're almost done. Just do what needs to be done. Just literally put in the work that needs to be done. Like for example, this person may not want to finish up these last Excuse, excuse me, these last few rows, but, you know, if he just reaches in, w puts his hand in the seed and throws it and then just covers it, reach in, put this, puts his hand in the seed, throws it, covers it. So they're saying just take a, take some steps, get started. 
Um, and the reason why is because you're almost done. And they're showing that when you're almost, even though it's like monotonous work, right? And you'd rather much, much rather be doing something else. Um, when you're done, I don't know if you can see this. Do, 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 do. There's like a little, wait, can I see that? Anyway, there's like a little, it looks to me like a little hole, not a hole in the in the fence or something, but just a little diamond shaped thing that isn't fully materialized. That shows me, that's that just signifies to me the end of the project. It's like literally when you're done this, you just pop out and you're done. And I'm seeing that for this project, there is no, there's no real bonus, there's no extra compensation you the most you would do is a pat on the back and like thanks for getting this in by the deadline like I feel like there's no even though this project is kind of big and it, or this this obligation is kind of big you if you're expecting to get it like yay you finished like yay let's everybody let's give a hand and I really love the job you did you're not gonna get that okay so I'm not I'm feeling and it's not because of work you know any quality work or lack of quality work that is on your end it's just that it's just it's not it's just not what's gonna happen it just feels like you've been assigned this thing you got to do it and turn it in by the deadline good thank you now now I've got it and I'm on to the next stage and you do whatever is next for you that's what I'm feeling however I'm here to whoopsies <laughs> I'm here to tell you that once you complete this project take a look at this this is a nine of cups basically situation wishes wishes fulfilled I'm seeing that whatever this project is is going to be such a huge benefit for somebody else. Like it's almost like, if, say your work, your job is to just finish working on this room in this house that's being constructed. When you're done working on it, they're not gonna be like, oh my God, you finished the room, thank you. No, it's just like, okay, great, thanks. Now that project, the house is done. Let's give it on, let's give the house over to whoever it's designed for. And then they get to live in this beautiful house, make memories in it, it's gonna be amazing. They're gonna make money on it, they're just gonna, right? And you're not gonna be any part of this. That angels are agreeing. You're not gonna be any part of this. But um, what they're saying is for you, um, the reward that you should take from this and you should walk away from this, and I'm feeling this is significant for some of you, okay? And I'll say why in a second. The reward that you should take away from this is I did this. I did this and I made it possible for someone else to have their dreams, you know, for somebody else to benefit. And I'm seeing actually a group of people probably benefiting from this. And the reason why I feel that this card popped up as I'm reading it to you now is because the angels want to talk to some of you beloved Aries specifically. I feel that some of you are dragging your feet on this project because you know that it's not going to um, end with some big party for you saying, yay, good job, this and that. And you want more compensation. You want more um, acknowledgement. And I feel that you're kind of salty about it. <laughs> That's what I'm picking up on, right? And so when I said that this is your, this is the thing you should walk away with, I feel that the angels wanted that for sp for um, a specific set of you within this collective that this message, message is designed for. W those are the ones who are like, well, I'm not being paid enough for this or I'm not getting anything out of this and no one's looking at what I'm doing and nobody's saying I'm doing a good job and, blah, 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 and I'm not just another worker drone like blah, 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 blah. They're saying, no, you know what? The, the gift is not about more money because I really feel that if you even get anything, it's only these two bits right there, okay, um, on the table. And, and that's, it's almost like, that's your obligation to just fulfill it and the thing that you should walk away with is the happiness of knowing that you've done a good job and that what you've done plays a small part in a larger role, okay? Just like this guy, look. This isn't the full structure he's making, he's making part of it, right? And it's going on to some huge cathedral or something somewhere. And so I think that please, if that rings true and you're feeling a little salty about the way they're treating you over this project and what you feel that you're not worthy, uh, that you're not um, treating the, sorry, <laughs> I just had um, some of this. <laughs> Thank you, Starbucks. <laughs> so anyway, if you feel like you're not receiving the value that you are worth, please know that this is where you should be focusing on. Not the people who are taking it from you, like the bosses or the whatever, but the people who are going to benefit from it later. For example, not the contractors who are taking your labor and saying thanks, but the people who will one day live in that house and, and have families who will never know you, will probably never know the construction company, right? So do it for them. I'm also seeing here in this card that um, 
let's take a look further adding to this um I, this narrative that is revealing itself. Look at this camp. It's an encampment, right? There's the Ark of the Covenant. But look right here. One, two, those are other yurts that are there. So this is showing me that your yurt or your part is not the main thing, okay? So I want to just help you to um, get to the correct level and perspective on this project. Um, and I want you to know that it's in a good way, in a, in a just straightforward way, it's not all about you, right? And I'm kind of also, also talking to myself because <laughs> I'm an Aries and I already know what project this is referring to. And this is in the it's not all about you is for the ones who feel that they're not getting their just recognition. And but for the rest of us also, it's just saying that, hey, you are part of a process here. And so I'm seeing that. It's almost like this is you, all of us now, all of us talking to the whole collective now. This is almost like, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, and this is the person above you or the partner that's working with you. They're just saying, can you just do this, whatever. You're like, I don't want to, I wanna blah, blah, blah. And you kind of don't like authority, what Aries does, right? And, and we, 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 do, we like to be leaders, but then we're so lazy to like follow through with stuff, but <laughs> and we don't like to take orders. So it's kind of like that, it's like, hey, as the angels are saying, stop being a baby about it and just get your work done, right? Just do it. It's not that big of a deal. And I'm really feeling like, feeling like it's not this huge project that requires you to like, you know, kill a baby goat somewhere, which and nothing should ever, right? But you get my point? It's just do it. They're saying you have the time, you have the resources, you really know you can do it. So if, for those of you, including myself, who keep saying I'm busy, I can't, you know, I've, I need to do this, but I'm super busy. That's a lie. Get on it. Okay. <laughs> so thanks, angels, for being so strong about it. All right. So what, are, what else I'm picking up for the month of March is that in this month, you're going to be um, really feeling connected to spirit. And now we maybe you already feel connected to spirit, but I feel like it's to the point where you're going to feel like, like someone's watching you. And like, like in the divine, like someone's watching you, observing you and connecting with you in that way. And like, you're not alone. Now I'm looking at this card. It's a beautiful card, but let me see if I can communicate to you what the energy is projecting onto here, uh, but cause it, it might be a little hard. Okay. So let's look. So imagine that we're looking there, right? And I'm going to pull it up to here. So just keep your eyes on this part. See, this looks like oopsies this looks like a nose the bridge of a nose this looks like an eye and the side of the eye and this one looks like the other eye just like an eyebrow so kind of like winking that's what it looks like and it looks like a head like the head is like like if you're on this little earth here and this head is part of a big giant head and he's looking at you and see there's the rest of his head like a four like a big head a, forehead right here, the nose, the eye, right? A little cheekage starting to peak right there. So there he it's like it's like it's almost like your higher self. Like he's you in he you are an aspect of him and he's like in the game The Sims, my favorite game ever, The Sims, The Sims 4, if anyone ever wants to look it up, which you should, um, where um you the player create a simulated person and they're just a person of course it's an aspect of you even though you try to create a different personality for that sim blah 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 so it's almost like your higher self is looking in on your life and paying attention to you in the month of march and seeing how you're choosing to live your life they're going to oh, okay spirit is saying they're going to formally introduce them itself he or she or it is formally going to introduce itself to you you're going to feel connected and when i say introduce itself to you i mean some of us already have spoken to our higher selves we we are in connection with them and and blah 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 blah. but um in the month of march i feel that you're really going to be made a believer this this month that there's a, some higher part some higher consciousness out there that is connected to you and i'm being told benevolent very benevolent it loves you it's you and you love it right and it's going to make itself known to you and this is a beautiful thing because um the more we evolve spiritually the the more that we're able to see who we really are and our place in our existence i'm also feeling yeah that you're going to be protected this month as well, of course, Archangel Michael, whoop, whoop, right? So um, please, uh, if you start to have some 
uh, like um, experiences of the divine um, that you're not used to. The first for for many of you, first thing is that you're gonna get into fear and you're gonna be like, oh my god, what is this? Who is this? You might be like, back demon, back, or just something to that effect, and you might want to run for protection. Please know that chances are this is not something negative. It's your it, it it's your higher self making itself known to you. And so look for phenomena that like just stands out and and um, seems weird to you or just whatnot. And they're saying that look just like this little boy reaching up to Archangel Michael, like mm, lift me up because I'm scared. Um, they're saying you are divinely protected. Okay, so um, please don't even trip, chocolate chip. Um, you're fine. This month is going to be amazing. So what I'm picking up already, first of all, is get your work done. <laughs> Talking to myself as well. Oh, by the way, it's 11-11 right now while I'm doing this in Japan. So obviously not where you are. But um, <laughs> but um, also, they're saying that um, your, your higher self, the divine, is going to be making itself explicitly known to you in this month. All right, so let's move on and take a look at what else I'm seeing. Let's sharpen the image there. Ta-da! All right, so what I'm seeing now, let's switch over to love. I'm seeing a love relationship here. I'm seeing that in the month of March, you will have a test of some sort or some sort of measuring, a test of measurement, um, of a measurement persuasion, let's say that way. So you're going to be, it's almost like you in connection with uh, someone else. It could be a, a partnership, a business partnership, whatnot, but of course I'm really feeling this has to do with love. That you and somebody that you're with, you guys are fundamentally different. There's just so many, there are just so many differences, but yet you've come together. But I feel, and in some cases, physically you guys are come re reconnecting, coming back together, but I feel that in the month of March, you're going to have to go through some kind of measuring stick or measuring um, to evaluate this relationship and also to test it. So take a look here at this. Um, these two are together, right? But they're fundamentally different, right? Uh, but they're together. And look back here, they're looking off into the distance. Like, I see that as the future. Um, but I see that um, right now, you guys are gonna come into a situation where the relationship is gonna be tested. Um, you're going to be asked to consider whether or not this is a valuable relationship for you, whether or not to continue. And I see that in the future, you you know, when you get to this point, if you guys are still together, when you get to this point in the future, again, you will have to kind of go through another test akin to that level of relationship. But for right now, here you are. So let's uh, forward, let's flash forward to the foreground. They are looking at this um, image just test or this new lesson module that's opened up before them and they're moving into it together right so what i'm seeing is that you hold on let me i might have to slow down my extremely fast talk speaking while i take a quick look at these cards what i'm seeing is that there's almost like a sense of um should we continue on with this relationship what is this what am i looking at so you're going to be assessing the relationship in the month of March. Should I cut it cut it down and get rid of it? There's a sickle. Should, is there deception is it in it? I mean, what, what am I seeing? These these two people, these are you guys looking at the relationship, and you're going to be wondering. And I feel that on some level, you are going to make a decision to walk away from this relationship. I could just literally hear everyone like, ah, oh. <laughs> I know, I know, okay. Like, I feel that you're going to... Make a decision to walk away from this relationship. I feel that because looking at these two, this is the other person. And remember, the energies could be reversed as well. Um, you could be this person or you could be that person. But I'm saying you're this person for this reading, right? So it's almost like the two of you come together and you're going to be assessing and you're just going to be like, nah, I'm, I'm good, I'm good. You're going to drop your swords and walk away. This guy doesn't even need to cut you with it. He doesn't need to do anything. So that tells me that it's almost like giving up and not wanting to even deal with it for whatever reason, whatever you you're going to be seeing you're just going to be like no nah, i'm cool i'm going to i'm going to hang back i'm going to walk away and i feel that this is going to be not a popular decision for people involved you know but i feel that on some level you're going to feel that it is a right decision for you and that it's, there's going to be a victory in that okay there's going to be a victory in that 
And that's going to lead bum, ba, da, dum, bum, bum, to the end of a cycle. Not the beginning, but the end of a cycle. Now, you guys know that relationships are in cycles, especially for some of you out there who are twinny twin twins. It's all cyclical, you know? So this is going to um, lead to the end of a cycle of behavior, a cycle of energy flowing. And you're going to find yourself alone. And when I say alone, I'm not talking about flashback to this card where you're just drinking alone watching Netflix. <laughs> I, and listen, if we do that already, God bless us, right? But what I'm saying is you're going to find yourself single. Single, but look at this girl. First of all, I wish I had that dress. I wish. Um, but you're going to be like, not only single, but you're going to be like, cool. You're going to be relaxed. You're going to be at peace. You're going to feel good. Because remember, you're the one. You're the one who who um, decided to pull back or walk away. And during this very important part, because once this cycle has ended and you find yourself here single, during this very important part, you're going to be looking at your partner this your partner first of all cute right but if you look closely you start to get the willies because look at that mouth was he just like gnawing on somebody's arm or something you're starting and scary let's just zoom out because that bunny is creeping me out um, anyway um, that's the way he's coming across on this card as opposed to in another reading he may come across as very cute and sweet but here you're gonna start to get illumination see the illumination coming out in this time alone, you're going to get illumination. While you're comfortable, you're going to get illumination and realize and ask yourself, where has this person been gnawing at me? Where have they been chewing me out? Where have they been making me less than who I am? Or better yet, where am I allow where have I been allowing them to make me less than who I am? Where have they not been serving me? Maybe some of your partners snap at you. Maybe some of your partners are moody and touchy and maybe they don't honor you. You're thinking about all that. This is you looking at yourself this is a moment when you're going to be looking at yourself and you're going to be wondering where has this person been really chewing at me and really degrading me and and not honoring me look this person's arms are all off you know and chewed off so you're going to be assessing and i feel that you're going to put while you're going to be together maybe you know come together or whatnot i feel that you're going to be taking a step back and you're really going to be thinking about this connection and for, in some cases some of you are actually going to break up and in some cases you're just going to withdraw from this person and it's interesting because take a look at the next card. It's a Ten of Cups. I see that you guys are going to be um, not alone for long. You're either going to return in energy and maybe physically if you break actually broke up. But you're going to energetically return to this person or you're going to return to a per the person that you really care about. Because what I'm seeing here in these little brambles is how energy works. <laughs> the, the cards are just tools, by the way. They just let energy um, superimpose themselves and the way energy is superimposing itself here is to show me that this looks like a crown like right here yeah like a crown and that tells me that you are going to be connected and reunited with the person who is your king or your queen who's really your king or your queen and I'm picking up for some of you it is still this person that we were looking at who is in this card and you're reassessing and for some of you it's going to be somebody else that you're going to rekindle something with all right so um but whoever it is you are going to feel good about it. So in the month of March, just to quickly summarize right here, in the month of March, you're going to be going through a period in your relationship or connection with this specific person where you're going to be asked whether or not, um, you're going to be asked to assess this person. And if you guys, you know, stay together uh, eventually, later on down the line in the future, because I, I saw this here and I forgot to tell you what I saw, I saw a house living together, moving in together. So if you take this relationship there in the future, you're going to have another moment to assess. But right now, this is this moment to assess. You're going to be wondering whether or not you should continue this relationship, whether you should give it up. And I feel that you're going to give it up. And if you don't walk away physically, like, let's break up, you're going to do it energetically in that you're going to pull away. Um, I'm not talking full-scale ghosting, but you're just going to pull back. You're going to you know, refrain, and I feel that while it may not be popular for, for your friends or just whatever, 
uh, I feel that it's going to be a victory for you because it'll close out this cycle of not knowing and you're going to get into a place with yourself where you can actually take stock of the situation and look at this this bunny is he cute or is he is he an arm gnawing bunny right and do I want to go back to that and is it something that serves me and if so how could I change myself with blah 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 blah, blah. and I feel that either way you're eventually in the month of March going to um, reconnect yes angels are saying that's it you're going to reconnect with the king of your heart or the queen of your heart which for some of you may be this person or which for some of you may be another person once you release this person okay let's take a look down here I'm seeing also for the month of March these are little mini signif significator cards um, again here's the love relationship that I'm seeing that you're going to be assessing so take a look at this card. It looks ecstatic. It looks passionate. But actually, let's get a little closer. For the first time, and I've had these cards for a long time, for the first time in my life, I've seen her eyes open in this card. So what it's showing me is that, um, look at all this illumination. While they're caught up in the throes of passion, she's starting to question, is this love? Is this the real thing? Is this worth having? Is he holding me or is he like grasping me and like holding me back? Am I enjoying this in passion or like am I not? Why are my eyes open? I should They should be closed in bliss. Uh, should, do I want to pull him closer or do I want to push him away? Right? So look at this. Is it a lover's embrace or is it obsession? And look at him. This, this dolphin, right? We all think dolphins are super cute, but this dolphin looks mad. I'm sorry. I'm scared of this dolphin, right? And then look at this one in the back super cute sort of maybe I don't know the what that tells me is she's also gonna be asking herself about the balance the dynamics of power in this relationship and reciprocity is it equal or am I chasing this person am I forcing this person to want me like so again in this lovers card what I'm seeing for the month of March is just um, summarizing what we just saw up there where you are going to be going through a period of assessment and really feeling safe enough and single enough to be able to do that and making a decision you're going to feel empowered to make this decision look at this card here now I feel that when you actually make this decision you know like to to do the assessment to cut this person off to pull back or whatever I feel you're going to feel like you're all thumbs you're going to feel like a fish out of water you're going to feel like you have 10 legs you won't it's going to feel so weird that you're going to just feel all fumbly but look at the resolve you, here you are you're still suited up even though it looks like your legs are abnormally short for you know this means you don't know what you're doing really you don't feel confident in it um, uh, where else am I seeing that in this card I've, I've got I was seeing it everywhere in the card and I'm struggling to see it but anyway the point is that what I'm getting here in this card is that you're going to be taking these steps to adult yourself adulting time to adult yourself in this relationship but you're going to feel a little bit like a fish out of water like what am I doing am I doing this right but I feel that you're gonna have all the resolve that you need so even though for some people you know you you might be like this may not be a popular decision for you to, to like step back from this connection or whatnot maybe your friends are like what but he's so hot and he's so rich and he's like you guys have been together for so long and, and you know whatever it is I feel that you are going to make the right decision and I feel that even though this card shows me that you're gonna feel like a fish out of water as far as how to do that like what do I do what does this look like what does assessment look like for me I think that you're going to be victorious in in the decision that you make to do and that decision is to step back to make the assessment and what I'm seeing is at the by the end of March see notice this is the Sun card and as you guys know cause I'm sure you watch these videos a lot like a lot of these kinds of videos you know Tarot the Sun card is super super um, awesome it's illumination it's warmth it's understanding it's a great outcome but in this case it came upside down coupled with the four of cups so what this tells me for my reading is that it tells me that you are in a place where you are literally that's you super cute assessing this love connection that we see here and you're gonna some of you're gonna open it up to your friends to really give you that insight and give you that outsider insight into it I think some of you are gonna open it up to spirit to just say God please remove me where I don't need to be and I as I'm saying that I could literally feel like 
literally like a white energy just coming through me, shooting through my body, like just gently. As you know, white white light flows through a window. Yeah, just it, it's just so clean and divine. It's like, God, please remove me from where I don't need to be. Something as simple as that. And you can even say that simple prayer. And even just hearing me say that, I could feel that it was so charged with energy right there that if you're watching this video and you and you just agree to that and want that, just go ahead and invoke it, right? The, yeah, what she said. I, I want that too, right? So, um... And I feel that some, so again, some of you are going to be reaching out to some friends. Some of you are going to be reaching out to spirit. I say you should do, all of you should reach out to spirit. Because look, this, this little spirit mouse is um, moving these cups and he or she is going to rearrange it to what it needs to be. I also see that some of you are going to be looking on social media, all sorts of stuff for evidence from your partner. So basically you're going to check your partner and see, you're going to be observing his or her moves. And, and assessing logically whether or not this person is the one for you to move forward with. Um, and not only logically, I feel emotionally, because I feel that if you pass through this point in your relationship, and if you decide that this is something you do want to move forward with, um, you are going to get to the point where you're going to be moving in together, making it serious, like or taking it to the next step. Wherever you are in your relationship now, you're going to gain more momentum in terms of intimacy and in terms of social um, commitments, like buying a house, having kids, moving in together, like or even just showing up to more places where families family, you know, whatever it is, that's the next step. Now, wouldn't you want to take that kind of step with somebody that spirit um, suggests, uh, uh, spirit supports, right? Your higher self supports. And the good news about this month is guess who's stepping in, remember? Your higher self. They're literally formally, I say formally, going to introduce themselves to you. So I, you are going to have some kind of phantasmic situation or experience that's you know, some of you may dream it, that they, you, someone's talking to you, some of you may hear it, like I'm clairaudient, and I could hear, right? Um, some of you may see it, all sorts of stuff, and just, and some of you already know your higher self, you've been introduced already. But, um, so all of these things are going to be coming into play, and they will all help you to make this decision, because this decision could be, you know, this person could be the one, right? And if they're not, then, you know, you know, bye, <laughs> because, bye Felicia, right, basically, because look, um, I see you connecting with the king or queen of your heart. This is ten of cups. Isn't it beautiful? It's lovely. And so you want to make sure that as you move forward, that any relationship that you're in right now, you assess it. Is this the one? If not, then I gotta kick rocks. If if it is, then God help me to be better. Now, at towards the end of the month, I see that you still won't necessarily have a full answer as to this relationship which is okay. It just means that your your period of assessment is going to continue into April. That's all that is. And everything that every day that passes is going to be filled with more and more information from the divine, more experiences set up just for you to have the answer that you need. Besides, you can't just make a quick decision about whether or not to move to a deeper level with somebody like you need to check all your bases. But I do feel that the month of March is going to give you um you know, just the right amount of, it's it's a step in the right direction. You're going to get good information, good intel. I see good luck here. I see that you're really, really, really going to be having some good times, good information coming into you. Because look, I could have seen the way spirit works is of all these beautiful cards that are at my disposal, and many of which are even off camera <laughs> right now. Um, I could have seen you being single in any card, but they chose this beautiful card here. Look at this person. This person is single in their mindset and maybe physically single. They're not together with this person, but they're not struggling. I didn't get the five of cups card, and which is the grief card, to show me that, you know, or, or the eight of cups, which is the walking away card, to show me you're single. No, I got this, where this beautiful woman is in this beautiful dress and really being free and at leisure and able to take the time out that she needs to take a look at what's going on. I think that she, just like you, will re and discover that there are a lot of things that you need to work through on your own. Look at the look at these brambles that you need to work through on your own and that you'll be um, looking closely at to understand why you could allow yourself to be dishonored in this relationship and any relationship and to consider whether 
that how can you clean up all that stuff and even if you were to clean up all that stuff is this the right person for you or was this person just there to show you how you've dishonored yourself and either way you'll be moving towards the king of your heart or the queen of your heart okay and that's great that's great news for me all right i'm sorry <laughs> and you <laughs> and you and you and you now everybody <laughs> but it's good news for me <laughs> all right anyway so um that's your reading for the month of March, okay? So Aries, God bless you. And stay tuned for the weekly March readings. I was actually gearing up to do the weekly March reading for the next week, which is um, March, uh, February 25th to March 3rd. And the angels were like, nope, we're doing monthlies first. So, so listen, I listen. <laughs> All right, so that's it. Thank you so much. And of course, you know, dear God, if you want a personal reading with me, you know where to find me. I'm in the box below. All right, thank you and have a beautiful March month. Bye.